can we learn from our preseason loss on Friday against Sheffield? Um, I think that we um, we played very hard and we just have to learn how to play with each other more and that's been happening in practice this week so I think we're going to do a good job on Friday. Is it just a matter of learning each other's rhythms and where to find people and on the offence and things? Uh, yeah, I think so. We're all very new to the team for most of us and we're still getting to learn each other and each other's tendencies. Uh, yeah, I mean, we've we've done a lot in practice this week to learn from what we uh, the mistakes we made on Friday um, but I just think a little bit of composure and uh, we'll be great we'll be there as we said there's been a lot of change over the summer here at Leeds Force how is the new unit gelling together how is practice going how's the team camarad camaraderie at the moment uh, team unit is gelling together very well practices are spirited and uh, we're all, everyone's working very hard everybody likes each other and we're getting along really well uh, yeah, same thing really, we're, we're getting on really well, everyone's friends, um, we're, we're getting there in terms of the on-court um, chemistry and I think that's just going to grow day by day really. So what do you guys bring to the Leeds Force roster yourselves? Uh, I think personally we have a very strong front line and uh, I look to bring uh, some stability to that and uh, well, hard work, hustle and um, just a presence, presence down low. Um, I pride myself on my three-point shot, but um, I'm going to try and bring a little bit of leadership to, to the team. I know we've got a young team this year. Um, yeah, I'm going to try to do that in my own way. So what are our aims as a team this year? And also, what are your aims personally for the season to come? Uh, first and foremost, our aim is to make the playoffs. So we're going to do everything we can to work towards that this season. And uh, personally, I just want to, I'm just here to help the team in, in any way to make sure we achieve that goal. Um, like I said before, I'm trying to show a little bit of leadership, um, just help us win games and then um, we're just trying to make the playoffs as a team, that's it really. And lastly, what can the Leeds Force fans expect to see at the game against Cheshire Phoenix on Friday? Uh, they definitely see 40 minutes of uh, hard work and uh, we, we won't quit, we haven't done in practice so far so we look to carry that over into Friday. Uh, a win, they can expect to see a win. Simple as that, and that's what we like to hear. A lot of new recruits in the team this year, a lot of old favourites coming back as well. Who's really been standing out in practice so far this pre-season? That's, I mean, that's a hard one to say, because genuinely the guys have been killing each other in practice. They've been working really, really hard. Uh, the intensity's been good, uh, the discipline's been good, uh, the attitude and camaraderie has been excellent. Uh, a few standouts for me, Lewis Sayers, um, I think has been fantastic, um, certainly leading by example in terms of his attitude towards offence and defence. Um, Armand's never going to let you down in terms of his enthusiasm for, for the game and, and really being uh, the glue, if you will, uh, for the team in terms of those aspects. I think Quan Waller could be very good in this league as long as he learns a little bit more about how we want to play the game. But in terms of his individual attributes, they've been excellent. What can we expect to see in the game against Cheshire on Friday, but also in the season as a whole? I think Cheshire, uh, they're certainly a well-rounded team, they've recruited well this year. Um, they may feel they've underachieved last year and uh, they've certainly gone shopping and uh, shopped well. I think returning David Alley was key for them and returning Martin Gale was key for them, but certainly they've, they've uh, ramped up their perimeter. For us it's about recognising what they have, uh, doing our homework, uh, the scouting and um, preparation is key for us. You know, we don't necessarily have the assets of some of the other teams in terms of um, the high, high order players. We, we're, we're a work in progress. Some of our players are a work in progress. They're young men looking for a platform to um, build on for future seasons. So I think it's important that we develop them and develop their basketball IQs. We develop their skill sets. And uh, if we do that successfully, that'll, that'll keep us in games with the, with the higher order teams.